Hello everyone, welcome to Virtual Reality Adventure. Today we are really excited to unbox something very research related, that is this box. It is named Emotive Epoch X. It's a brain computer interfacing device via which you can um, process or read different signals from your brain and use those uh, signals into your computer programming or APIs to utilize those signals or do various kinds of tasks based on those signals. So let's look at this box. It's very light and um, as you can see it's uh, the top of this and the box itself is a uh, solid hard packaging and this is just a simple paper covering it. There is this name of the device. As you can see in the back side, there are some specific um, capabilities of the device are mentioned. As you can see, it has 14 channel EEG, whole brain sensing, and snail based electrodes. There are electrodes that will be placed on top of your head. So those electrodes will get the signal. There is maximized wearability, I mean you can wear this thing for longer periods of time. There is also wireless connectivity, meaning you do not need any kind of wires to connect it to your PC to get the data. So it will be able to communicate in between your PC and this device wirelessly. That's a very, very um, useful feature for this kind of device. There is motion sex sensors like the head movement detection and also it's rechargeable of course as it is wireless so it needs charge it has nine hours battery life and if you go to this place we can start the setup process emotive.com and let's start unboxing this device the lab uh, that we are collaborating with is going to use this device to uh, perform different kinds of uh, BCI related research work while experiencing in VR. So um, that is a new paradigm of works and that will be very um, interesting. So uh, there is a small chain around the box. We just uh, untied that and if we take out this page box here, this is the contents of the box. This is the headset that is the emotive mobile or epoch x there is some pouches in here let's take this one aside for now and this is the headset itself very simple and light and as you can see there are some uh, dangling uh, uh, kind of plugs that go on top of your head so you will have to wear it like this we will demonstrate it later and we'll review the usage of it and the data that it gives so please subscribe our channel and stay tuned like share and support the channel and as you can see it has battery and it has a usb type c charging port right here there are, these are the electrodes where it will be placed these are not connected currently as you can see some sockets will, will be placed on here and it communicates wirelessly very simple device this is the power button and nothing much more in the in this device itself the power button the LED indicator that it is on or off the charger so uh, that's all for the device itself let's look into the other um, equipment of the uh, or the other parts of this box there is nothing inside here it's just cushioning for the headset and support there are some small pouches in this space, this place, and there are something inside. Let's open this chamber, and as you can see, there is some package inside. Oh, here you go. These are the felts or the caps or a sensor kit that will be placed on these small sockets. As you can see all of these. There, these are 14 uh, sockets in here, each like one two three four five six seven this side has seven and this side has seven and it's actually adjustable so you while experiencing vr you will be putting on top of your head in this device and then you will be putting on the vr headset or other equipments so these will be 
used to read uh, defined kind of signals. So I don't think this uh, is currently ready to be used at this moment. Yes, as you can see, these are simple stereo foam type uh, component that will be placed inside here, like these, like this. This will denoise the signal that you're going to read because there are um, hair and other uh, noise that may be introduced via the head or surroundings. So let's just put this aside. There may be more than 14 because they might get damaged or uh, may maybe get dirty. So we can replace them. There's uh, all this kind of pouches inside for all these plugs. And what's more inside this box? There is this cable to charge the headset, this device. One side is USB Type-C for that and there is a USB cable. So you can charge it via any um, adapter or even from your computer or laptop. So what's more inside, nothing else in this chamber. There is a USB connector in here. As you can see, this is the uh, card of the company, Emotive. And there is some code, serial number for this device. So it's important to keep this card for future reference. So as it says, and as you can see, this is the uh, Bluetooth or special kind of connector that will be used to communicate with the PC uh, wirelessly. The headset will communicate with this specific component, so you need to plug this in before starting to use, to use that. So there is nothing more inside this box. We will review it in detail and what kind of data it gives, we will uh, look into that. The research work that is going to be done for this device is kind of uh, looking into the probability of being motion sick inside VR or some kind of that and around that topic and much much more the probabilities or possibilities are kind of uh, huge here so uh, that's it for this video thank you very much please like and share and comment if you enjoyed the video and support the channel we will see you in our next video thank you